thumbnail says, what does Ticketmaster have in store for us? And boy, is it a good one. Let me tell you what. I don't know if any of you have been paying attention to the news on this one or if you've even seen it on the news. I found this on the internet and I did hear it on the radio the other day coming home from work on the news. So, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Hope everybody's having a great morning and hope you have a great day. So, you're probably having your coffee right now, kind of like what I am. Can't start the day without coffee. But maybe one day they're going to track how many cups of coffee I have. If Ticketmaster has their way, and if this goes through, I think you're going to see a lot of this going on. So, you're asking yourself, what is Ticketmaster trying to do? Well, I'm going to show you a little clip here in a minute of a website that I found. And we're going to talk about that very situation. That'll be coming up in just a few minutes. So as you see here in this article from Ticketmaster, it says Ticketmaster preparing to leak vaccine and COVID-19 test data to concertgoers' digital tickets. Now this is a little interesting, people, because what's going to happen here is, as it says here, on the onset of the pandemic, the live entertainment industry is screening to halt and has picked up speed since, however, the pharmaceutical company Pfizer recently announced promising early test results for COVID-19 vaccines. And that is giving the industry leaders hope going into the new year. This is where it gets really interesting, people. Ticketmaster has been developing a post-pandemic safety plan to get customers back to concerts. Billboard reports that includes using smartphones to verify its ticket buyers have received a vaccine or tested negative for COVID-19 recently within a 24 to 72 hour window. This is still in a development phase and would rely on Ticketmaster mobile app, third party health information companies and testing and vaccinating distributed providers. Ticketmaster is part of the larger company, Live Nation Entertainment, which also promotes concerts and operates venues like the Fillmore Philadelphia, the Met, Tower Theater, and the TLA, and others. Its vision for screening attendancies could be the future of accessing live entertainment like concerts, sporting events, and more. Now, the problem with this is... I don't know if anybody else sees this, but they're going to start using your smartphone. It also sounds like they're going to start trying to use and force people to get a vaccination when it comes out and it has to all your information be loaded into your cell phone, your smartphone, so that you can show exactly what you had done as far as any testing or vaccinations. So this is meaning if you want to go to a concert or any type of sporting event, you will have to be vaccinated. Is that something that we're all really going to be standing in line to get just to go to a concert and to have all your information out there so everybody can see it? It will be loaded into an app on your phone and they'll be able to access that information. I don't believe that I am ready to be followed even more than what I uh, already am being. What is your comments on this? I'm not too crazy about it, but maybe it is the future. Only time will tell. So as you see in the video that I just showed you from a website, um, from a news organization, what Ticketmaster has in plan, you know, they want to basically contract out to a third party health quote organization. Okay. And they're going to track and make sure that when the vaccine does come out, you, if you want to go to a concert, sporting event, anything that Ticketmaster 
or anything that they're affiliated with, if you want to go to something like that, you have to make sure that you're vaccinated or you've had a COVID test and you can prove within the 48 to 72 hours that you're good to go. So when they come out with this lovely vaccination that they're talking about, if you do not go out and get this vaccination, I guess you're not going to be going to any concerts, which means I will not be going to any concerts if that is the case, because all this stuff is going to be loaded into your smartphone. And these third party health organizations will also let Ticketmaster know when you book your tickets. If you have received the vaccination, when you received it, who gave it to you, and they're also going to know if you've had a COVID test, if you've tested negative or positive. Now, what's the problem with that? That's too much information being tracked. Now, I was talking to my daughter this weekend, and I was telling her about this, and she came up with a pretty good theory on this. So, her theory was that she wouldn't be surprised if all of a sudden, if this does go through and this works, and they start tracking all this kind of stuff just so that you can go play, uh, go to your sporting events, you can turn around and go to concerts, any type of a big organized event. What really can stop them from doing that with everything that we do in our daily lives, from going to anything, going to your food market, going to the grocery store, going to the hardware store, going to anything. Are you going to have to start showing your phone and showing proof that you have a COVID test or you tested negative or positive? or that you've had the vaccine and you have proof of having the vaccine. I have a big problem with this. I don't know about anybody else out there, but um, I'm not going to be one of the guinea pigs that they're going to test this on when it first comes out. Now they all say, all these different pharmaceutical companies and everybody that's trying to develop these vaccines, that, you know, they've done it on a rush, but they followed all the protocols and everything else. And it's all done on safety and, and the whole nine yards. And if you believe that, I got a lot of land down in the Everglades I'd like to sell you. So, what are they really going to try to pull with this? Are they going to try to take more control over what we do through just having proof on our smartphones that we did get the vaccine or that we have been tested and we tested either negative or positive. That's the big question. I foresee that coming. I wouldn't put it past anybody in government, the third sectors out there, the major corporations and everything else to try to push people to get this vaccine in order to basically live. So what does that mean, folks? Well, that's going to mean that if this does come around this way and you don't want to get the vaccine, you better be prepared because things could get pretty rough. So maybe you need to stock up on seeds. Make sure that you have some way to grow your own food. Maybe raise your own animals. If you live in a city, that's going to be very difficult for you to do. If you live in the country, that is a very obtainable thing that you could do. You will have to invest in that, but in the end, you will get the return. Now, if you live way out in the country where you can do hunting and fishing and all this kind of stuff, maybe you can supplement some of your meat proteins and things um, with those type of animals. That's a possibility. But you want to make sure that you have some way to grow food. 
and seed prices are going through the roof. I don't know if any of you have been checking out any of that kind of stuff, but the prices on seeds and getting seeds is a whole nother ball game than what it was a year ago. You know, it used to be you could go on and order all kinds of seeds. I ordered a uh, seed vault over a year ago before this whole thing hit. And I think I paid, uh, it was like $89. Comes in a whole case, sealed the whole nine yards, all heirloom seeds, you know, you name it, it's in there, you know. And now those things, they're, they're running like 150 bucks if you can find one. So you might want to start thinking about having some backup plans if you're going to be one of the few that maybe do not want to get a vaccine right off the bat. Now, maybe on later on down the road, once all the kinks are worked out, and they get it somewhat to where, you know, it might work. Because the vaccines that they're working on now are on the first strain. It's already mutated into other strains. So it's kind of like the flu virus. It keeps mutating year from year, and that's why they have to keep coming up with a new vaccine every year for the flu, because it mutated. So they try to stay ahead of the ball game and not behind. So this is just something to ponder about, and you all really need to pay attention to what's going on with this, because I think if they get their way, and they can track all the information and everything that we do right through our smartphones to do anything. And they're going to start off with concerts, sporting events, large gatherings as far as, you know, probably your car truck shows, anything like that. You know, monster trucks, wrestling events, anything of that nature, you know, because Ticketmaster and Live Nation which are basically under the same, control just about all the events that take place out there. Now, they're not the organizers. They're the ones that are pushing and selling all the tickets for it. So remember that. So we're going to have to really pay close attention, people, to what's going on with this. Because this could turn into something very nasty. If this goes through, I hope it doesn't because I don't think that we should have to be tracked even more than what we are already tracked, especially if you have any type of a new phone that has the 5G capability. I did a video on that. Some people disagree, but you know, if you really just pay attention to your phone, why is it you can drive by someplace, you didn't even go there, and all of a sudden it pops up and asks you, oh, how was your visit to such and such? And you didn't even go there, but you drove past it. It knew you were there. It knew you were in the vicinity. And if you go somewhere, it always asks you, how was your visit to Walmart today? How was your visit to Publix today? How was your visit to Walgreens today? It knows where you are all the time. Think about it, folks. So, you want to make sure that you're prepared. Because there's a lot of stuff coming down the pike. I don't think there's a lot of us going to like. And I don't know if there's really a lot we can do about it. I think that's going to be the new normal. It's tracking exactly what we do, where we go, and how we do it. So, I hope everybody has a good day. Enjoy your coffee this morning. Stay safe. Keep prepping. And keep your eye on this conversation. And this article. Just go on and Google it and keep track of what's going on. Let's see where this goes. Let's hope this gets shot down. 
Let's hope it doesn't go through. But I just wanted to bring everybody aware. This has nothing to do with politics or anything else. This is companies trying to figure out some way where they can generate the money at our expense of being tracked. So until next time, Survival Preparedness for Beginners, I'll catch you all on the flip side.